in this video. Yamaha apologized to Andrea Dovizioso after race at Austin. Taka Nakagami admits extra pressure to save his MotoGP ride. And Joan Mir says it's time to take some risks. My name is Sankalp and this is your Racing News Fix. While Fabio Quartararo believes more power will solve Yamaha's problems, Andrea Dovizioso is convinced that the lack of grip is the real root cause of M1's troubles. And although it would appear that Fabio is able to ride past the low grip issues, Dovi believes solving the grip problems will benefit all Yamaha riders, including the reigning world champion. Dovi started by saying, For sure, Fabio shows the way. But if you don't ride in the exact way, I think it is difficult to be competitive at this moment with Yamaha. I am struggling. But we keep working. We have to do two things. First is to continue to try to adapt to the bike, because it is the thing we can do on our own during the race weekends. And it is one of the ways to reduce the gap to the front. The second thing is to work with Yamaha to develop the bike. I think Yamaha are in a bit of a difficult situation at this moment. Speaking about the meeting he had with the Yamaha guys on Thursday, though we continued. I also did a technical meeting with the Yamaha project leader on Thursday. It is nice to work with them because they are completely open to speak with. They realized the reality and they said sorry to me because we finished 29 seconds from the winner in America. So that is nice because they understand the situation and together we will try to be better. Though we concluded by being hopeful of some aggressive development from the Iwata factory. I think now they realize how heavily they have to work in some areas. I hope they will decide to try something aggressive in those areas. Because I think it is very important at this moment to try something like that. But I don't know if this will happen or not. Much like most of the riders on the grid, LCR Takana Kagami is also out of contract at the end of the year. And his Idomitsu backed ride is under some real threat for the first time this year. Despite having 4 years in the Premier class, Taka is yet to score a podium finish and even with the radical new RC213V, he has managed only one top 10 finish so far this season. With Ayagura sitting in P2 in the Moto2 standings, Taka is starting to feel extra pressure to keep his seat after the end of this season. In an interview with Motorsport.com, Taka said, To be honest, from Qatar I had pressure. But in the last 4 races, Qatar, Indonesia, Argentina and America was not the best performance of course. Just one top 10 finish in Qatar. Speaking about the importance of the next two rounds, Taka continued. Now Portimao and Jerez. These two races are really really important for me to get the confidence again. Then I need to show the team and HRC that I have the potential, that I have the speed. So maybe it is some extra pressure, but at the same time I am looking for my confidence to come back. So these two races will be important for the future. Speaking about the goals he has set for himself, Taka concluded. I don't want to be fighting for top 10. At least we can fight for the top 5 or top 6. This is the minimum performance. Then of course, if we have the chance or extra confidence, we can fight for the podium. So the first step is to bring back the potential because with the new bike, we have potential. And the 2020 MotoGP World Champion, Joan Mir had a winless 2021 season where he was nowhere close to defending his title. Even with the improved Suzuki, capable of matching Ducati's top speeds, Mir has not been able to get himself on the podium so far, while on the other hand, his teammate has done it twice already. When asked about the good results of his teammate, Mir said that he sees it as a big positive. Mir said, I think with only two Suzuki riders in MotoGP, we both need to be competitive to support each other. So I think the fact that Alex is so competitive is a great thing for the whole team and for the development of the bike. At the moment, it is very positive. We are all working in the same direction and the arrival of Livio's support to the team was a very positive addition. Even in his title winning campaign, he managed only one win in the whole season. Mir was also asked about where a race win stands in his priorities at the moment. Mir responded by saying, In case of victory or playing for the long run, obviously I would get a lot of points in both situations but I wouldn't mind getting a win. I think right now, there is room to take some risk, so we can afford it. Do you think we will see Joan Mir on the top step of the podium at some point in 2022? Let's chat in the comments below. If you made it till here and still are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell. And don't forget to check out these two videos which I know you will enjoy.